Let's generate a Linux reverse shell using netcat. We would first input the IP address of our Kali box, in our case 192.168.1.101, and then I will select the listening port of 8002. We can make sure our operating system is set to Linux, and then select the NCMKFIFO option to see a one-liner that we can copy and paste to get our reverse shell. Unlike bind shells, this time we have to set up our listener first on our Kali machine by typing nc-lvnp and then the port that we wanted to listen on, in our case 8002, and hit enter. To demonstrate a command execution vulnerability that will allow us to execute our reverse shell, we can use the dvwa command execution exercise. Basically here we have an input bar that wants us to put in an IP address to ping for free. So if we put in the IP address of our Kali machine and hit submit, after a few seconds we see that we'll get a ping back. And it looks like this command is being executed in a terminal. So we can escape the ping command by typing a semicolon and then pasting in our reverse shell. And then once we hit submit, if we check back to our Kali listener, we see that we have our reverse shell up and running and we can type whatever commands we want on the machine that's running the web server.